Run, river, run, run through the hills. Run, river, run to the sea. Run, river, run to your place beneath the sun. Run, river, run. Hi, this is Jan Lewis. Welcome to my guest today. We have from our own Upton Town Library, we have our children's librarian, Leanne Murphy. And Leanne is here to tell us about all the fun things that are happening this upcoming summer for the kids, right? Lots, right here at lots. the library. <laughs> oh, wow. Welcome, Leanne. Thank you. She is so thoughtful. She sent me this wonderful list of all the different things that are happening, and we're going to talk about them all. So, start her off. Go ahead. What are we, children and young adult collections, what's that one? Uh, well, I just sent you a brief list of some of the um, some of the changes, some of the things that have been going on recently yep. um, since I took over back this fall. Um, we've given the um, children's and young adult collections a fresh look, everything newly labeled. Um, special shelves for new new materials, so everything's a little easier to find for for anyone who comes in. Wow. Um, we've kept a lot of our programming the same. The format may have changed a little bit, but the times have been the same and the audiences have been the same, so that's been good. Um, Teen Tuesdays has really taken off. We've got a nice group of middle schoolers who come in regularly, and we've been doing some fantastic things. So be sure to check out our website and Facebook and Instagram to see what we're doing. Um, the artwork, I wanted to mention, we've had a rotating collection of artwork in our gathering room yeah. uh, from the local school school um, districts, and that's been monthly, which yeah. has been fantastic. Um, and you sponsored the recent one with Kathy Taylor. We did. Hi, we Kathy. Did. Yeah. yeah, her yeah. her artwork has been downstairs for about two months almost, I think. Beautiful. Um, yeah. Through one of the Upton Cultural Council grants, so those have been really I well went received. That. And you, I made a couple of those. You can see through it. Beautiful Luminaries. Designs. Luminaries. Mm -hmm. <coughs> We've got them up in our kitchen window. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, they're definitely eye-catching when people come in. They just ask, ask about them all the time, so yeah. those have been great. Um, and that brings us to summer reading. We're getting ready for the summer reading program. Yeah. We've gotten some of the lists from the local um, schools to see what they're going to be reading, and we'll try and have titles in stock for for the kids. So, wow. uh, but the official summer reading program through the state is called Libraries Rock this year, and Libraries it's, it's Rock. Libraries Rock. It's a music theme, so we're pretty excited to um, yeah. to be getting going with that. And registrations will start next month, mm -hmm. uh, June twelfth. June 12th, remember that, come on down and yep. register. Um, so we're going to kick off the summer program with, with the same event we have every year. We've been, we've been using the Little Red Wagon um, Theater Troupe from Uni um, University of New Hampshire. They've been with us for 12 years, I believe. UNH, that's part of where I went in Plymouth. Yeah, they come every yeah. summer and we have it at the courtyard yeah. behind Nipmuc High School and it's all a group of students who perform. How and did you get UNH to come down here? Um, I believe it was two <coughs> children's librarians ago who brought them here, um, if you remember her. Who we had yeah. Lisa Stratton. Yeah. And we've been having them every summer. They perform a different show every summer. This summer, the, the story will revolve around the stories of the Brothers Grimm. Yeah. So that should be fun. Yeah. Um, and that will kick off the week before the local schools get out. I think our date for that is June 21st that or June 20th. Fun. To oh, check my list. Cool. She's got so much good stuff. I, do, I have a lot planned, probably too much. But, oh, that's um, great. June twentieth, Wednesday, June twentieth at six thirty, and that'll be a free event for for families. And it's great because if it's a nice night, people bring their blankets, their mm -hmm. chairs, little picnics, and they can have dinner while they're watching the show. If per, if there's bad weather, we have the auditorium reserved, so and you can go, go inside. And you're going to go to the high school. I didn't know they mm -hmm. had this in the back of the high school. They actually do it. Back that's there. where we do it every year. <coughs> yeah, I've been rains, to a few yeah. shows myself when my kids were, were yeah. younger and they really enjoyed it. They do a great job, those kids. Is there like a, a favorite age range of the kids who seem to like it more? Um, we gear the summer reading program to the younger kids, probably the babies all the way through middle school. Yeah. Um, it tends to be a l mostly the elementary kids that show an interest, but we're, we're open to all ages. <laughs> little, little of something for everyone. <laughs> all right here. So, so that's our kickoff event, yep. is um, the Little Red Wagon. Yep. Um, we're going to have the treasure chest. If, if you've been oh, in the library, yeah. you know what the treasure chest is during the summers. Mm -hmm. And we've given it a fresh look, a fresh paint job, some new hardware, and the kids will be ready for that. And they'll get to visit that once a week. We run that on the honor system. As long as kids are reading all summer long, they're entitled to, to visit and pick one little reward That's per week. So cool. yeah. And it just gives a little motivation to keep kids from... You know, regressing during the summer and keep yeah. keep reading, keep their yeah. skills sharp yeah. for when they go back to school. You know, it's a lot. It's a responsibility for parents too. I know my mother used to read to me yeah. for many years, yeah. long before I already knew how to read. But mm -hmm. I love listening to her read. It's important. 
You know, yeah. and I didn't hate. I went to my son. Yeah. Now he's reading I mean, stuff way over my head. Scientific chemistry. Oh. Yeah. But it, it rubbed off. And as long as <coughs> as long as the kids are reading what they enjoy reading, that's that's what we like to see. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, and something new this year is going to be raffle tickets. We've got some great sponsors who have given us some passes to museums in the state, so I won't give any away yet, but if kids are reading regularly, when they visit the treasure chest, they can take a, a raffle ticket and put it in one of the boxes to, um, to be raffled off at the end of summer. Cool. So we'll, we'll tell them about that when they get in. So that's a little something new that's this cool. year. Yeah, we've gotten some great sponsors, so yeah. pretty excited about that. Um, another event we have is a 4-H babysitting course, which is for the mostly tweens and teens age, yeah. middle school, high school kids who are starting to uh, want to learn to become a babysitter. So it's for boys and girls. Um, That's it's important. It's for the boys, too. Yeah, so this year it's <coughs> being run through the 4-H. So we have mm -hmm. um, an instructor coming for two days, June 26th and 27th. Um, a little bit different than we've run it before, yeah. and we're excited about that. Is it pretty well attended? It is. Usually it fills up, and we're always able oh. to have another session if it fills up and we have a waiting list. So, so the registration, if you come in May, what is it now? May 12th? June 12th, June 12th. is for the summer reading program. Okay. And what you'll get is you'll get a bag, just like this, with Libraries Rock. It'll be filled with goodies, pencils, bookmarks, mm. your calendar for the summer so you know um, what's, what's going on, where yeah. to be. Yeah. Um, and any other special things like that. And so you've got a reading log so you can keep track of your reading as well. Should people register with you about everything else the same day they register for this, or is that just completely that's they all? They can come see us as often as they like. Most okay. events are, are free mm -hmm. and don't require registration. I've tried to do a mix of things that need registration, things don't that don't. Yeah. So we'll have some that are um, have a limited amount of spaces, but yeah. a lot are just fun for all. Like the Little Red Wagon is a fun oh, event I love for all. That. And we can have as many people that can fit in that back courtyard behind Nipmuc High School. So I don't feel like that. we're talking with Leanne Murphy, and she is the children's librarian here <coughs> in Upton at the Upton Town Library. Leanne, if anybody has any questions, how can they reach you? Um, mm. They can certainly stop by the library anytime um, during our business hours. We're on Two Main Street here in Upton. My email is lmurphy at cwmars.org, or they can call the library at 508-529-6272. Good, like yeah. Um, just keep going through keep some of going, our events. I'll tell going. you all about them. They're all going to be listed on their calendars okay. that we'll give out. Yep. Again, this is this is our official events calendar. It's a two-sided page, yep. um, and those will be in their in their sign-up bags. So that's something you definitely want to do when you stop by: is sign up, get your bag of materials, so you know what's going on all summer long. Do the kids have like a um, <clears throat> a piece of paper with lines on it to write down all the books that they, they do? And that's that's one of the things I was going to mention later oh, on. They, cool. They'll each get a, a reading log. Libraries yeah. rock. Very simple, just some lined paper yeah. that families can help their kids keep track of titles that they've the kids have read on their oh. own or that they've read with their children if they're younger beginner readers. Certainly any kind of reading counts for this. Yes. And there's going to be a special reward for that I'll talk about at the end. Who picks these great colors? Um, these are my choice. <laughs> we are it. given through the state different um, types mm. of um, clip art materials to choose from. So what the libraries idea. rock. This is for the younger kids. Oh. We've got some cool images like oh, for the, the older kids. kids. I love this. Look. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is actually what I was going to mention. This is oh. what kids will get at the end of the summer program yeah. if they turn in their completed reading log with at least five titles. And that's what we've done in the past, is if you read at least five titles, yeah. you bring us back your reading log. This year you're going to get a special little An great award. job reward trophy. And look at this just as, as a sign of completion. And as something extra, uh, the first 50 students, mm -hmm. first 50 kids who bring back their um, completed reading logs. We are lucky enough to have JJ's Ice Cream Shop in town oh God. sponsor us, and the first 50 <coughs> participants who bring those reading logs back will get a free ice cream certificate. So Hurry up and read. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want kids to take their time and enjoy oh it as well. Oh, God, yeah. Lots of things going on. Um, I love this. It's just something new we're starting, you know, a little participation. Great but job. you have to do the reading to get that. Okay, you have and to read how that, many now? At least five, and you can take your time with that. There's no, no okay. rush for that part. I love it. Yeah. Um, oh. Just a little motivation for kids at this age. Yeah. Um, another event we're going to have is a science program. Mm -hmm. Um, it's through the Mad Science of Western New England program, and they're going to be presenting us a Sounds Like Science um, science program, all about how sound works and that kind of 
works into our summer theme of music, sound, um, and that's going to be at the Memorial School Cafetorium. So, so it's going to go around like music and sound? Um, okay. Well, they sent us an official flyer, so mm -hmm. I'll tell you. Uh, they're going to explore the science behind sound. They're going to create sound using garbage cans, tubes, metal pipes, um, see how pickles glow and potatoes pop, and they're, create, they're going to help create a kid-centered thunderstorm. What day is this now? That is June 27th <coughs> in the afternoon Is that a Saturday? Or what day? Uh, I believe it's a Wednesday. Okay. Wednesday. It's in the afternoon. Okay. Again, I've tried to stagger when we have our events. So there's something, mm -hmm. different days, different times of day, weekends. If you're a working family and you look for things on the weekend, we'll have those too. Yeah. Um, so we've got that. We've got a, a magician coming, Ed Popolarsic, who oh, we've, yeah. we've had... Um, over the past few summers for different events. He's going to come back next summer, uh, this coming summer rather, and do a magic show for us. He's great. Um, something that we're going to do a little different this year is something called a story walk. And it involves taking large panels that are reproduced from picture books mm -hmm. and spreading them out. We're going to do these at Heritage Park here in town. And it's going to be a self-guided story, a story walk. So the, oh. the families will come. They'll begin at page one, which is a, a large poster from the story, mm -hmm. and they'll walk themselves through the story, poster by poster, and tell themselves the story. I so that. Are they doing that at West River? West River? Um, they've done them in the area. Yeah. The, we're lucky enough <coughs> to have these materials through the uh, CW Mars Library yeah. Network that yeah. we use, and we're going to order them and put them up so the kids and their families can come have a story walk. We're going to do two different dates for so that. So it's a walk and where's it? It's going to be at our Heritage Park. Heritage Park. And um, you can write a story or draw it as you go. Well, no, this is you read posters yeah. that are taken from a picture book. So basically they take a picture book, they deconstruct it, take it all apart, yeah. and each page is a sign. Oh, how cool. So you actually physically walk through the story, which oh, I thought was something nice to do during the summertime. Very. And I was introduced to that through... Um, someone who we work with from Beginning Bridges Network, Emily Murray. So Very good. I'm excited. We're going to have some Make Your Own Instrument um, activities. Yeah. We're going to have a Make Your Own Rain Stick event and Make Your Own Drum event. And those will be registration events. So those will be held in our gathering room. And those will be on Saturdays. We've got that. Um, another event I'm kind of excited about is called Read Around the Town. And this is something I, I was introduced to by Emily Murray as well from Beginning Bridges. Uh, read around the town. I've contacted people throughout the town of Upton, such as the police station, the fire station. Um, where else? There's a dairy far farm in town I contacted. Uh, the town hall, our new town manager is going to be involved. <coughs> um, and we're going to have preschool story time at these places each week. This is so, great. I remember when my son was growing up, there was, yeah. uh, what was that program at school? They would have uh, celebrities come in. Now, I was on television in Northbridge, but he was mm -hmm. a little boy. So they would have people, it could be the police chief, <coughs> I was on, and other, they would yeah. come in and read. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Well, I, I loved mm. the idea when I heard about it, and I said, yeah. we need to make this happen for our town. Definitely. Um, we've got such a great community. I wanted to see some of the celebrities in our yeah. own town. Definitely. So yeah. that'll be running during our regular preschool story time every week, which yeah. is Thursdays at 10.30. Now tell us, is Matt, and our we'll librarian, going to do this? Uh, he might be one. <laughs> he might be one. That. The <laughs> library is one of our read around the town it spots is. that we'll have. So, <laughs> But we'll have schedules for all these things um, so people know what's going on, where it is. And, and I post updates on Facebook and Instagram weekly yeah. so people do know what's going on. Great. And uh, they'll be on our website as well. Yeah. Um, the annual stuffed animal sleepover, oh, always yeah. a favorite with um, with the kids. We'll yeah. do that again um, a little earlier this year, at the end of July, yeah. and we're going to have a special guest performer, Deb Hudgens, who does our music and movement program um, during the during the school year. We've had her come in to baby story time, so she's going to do a special oh. sleepover event for us for you that. You bring your teddy bear or whatever, and, and the, the stuffed animals, whatever it is, they come, give them a little name tag, and they spend the night in the library, and who knows what they're going to be up to. Can they bring here. a little blankie for their animal? Like um, usually, we just like the stuffed just animal. Not too much for us to have to take care of. Just okay. the animals themselves. Okay. And um, they drop them off, and then we post pictures of what what kind of things they get into while they're at the library overnight. So that's that's a big favorite. We'll still do that. Um, Again, yes. we're talking with Leanne Murphy, and she's our children's librarian mm -hmm. at the Upton Town Library, and she's telling us all the good things that are coming up for the summer. Yeah, we've got the Little, little Folk <coughs> pet Farm Petting Zoo, and that's, that's a Ooh. traditional annual favorite yeah. that we've had. Um, they come, they bring a, a little mini petting zoo, we set it up on the front lawn yeah. of the library, 
their uh, attendants there so the kids are safe and they can just pet animals like little goats and yeah. chickens, bunnies, and it's just a little fun. Oh. An experience for I them. Think I've so seen we'll that. Like every year for years, right? It's a favorite. Yeah. I had to bring it back. Yeah. I had to bring it back. Right. People always look for that. Definitely. Um, one other thing we're going to do is let's see the summer reading stations. That's something new this year that I'm going to give a go at. It's some ideas that were given to us through our our manuals that we get as children's librarians of different ideas that we can introduce um, kids to different activities that revolve around the theme. So we're going to have a summer reading station set up, hopefully in our gathering room, mm -hmm. that will be there all summer long. Different themes every other week, different activities, different books to look mm -hmm. at, and a different takeaway to take home, a craft, yeah. a coloring page, that something. People, the kids have got a whole a different idea of the different types of genres of books. Exactly. Different types of things. Exactly. So yeah. there are a lot of different themes. There'll be instruments, mm -hmm. animal sounds. Yeah. Um, we'll, we're going to have five different stations, so they'll go every other week all summer and long. You, you, you alone, Leanne, think these great things up? Some are my own, <coughs> some are from a manual, and, yeah. and we make them work. Um, I can't take credit for everything, but I certainly help bring them to, to life in our library. And thanks to CW Mars, I'm hearing here it's that they're just sending you things to help along. They do, they do. And the last thing I want to share for our, our big finale at the end of the summer, um, and this is something I think was done by a librarian. Um, probably about 10 years ago, is a movie matinee. So we're going to have a big movie matinee at the end of summer to, to um, celebrate the finale of the summer reading program. Mm -hmm. This is going to be with the movie Sing, which is a music-related oh, yeah. movie, just an animated movie, good for kids of all ages. Yeah. And we'll show that at Nipmuc Auditorium. So again, it's no cool, sign-ups, yeah. just plenty of room oh, for oh, everyone. Cool. Yeah. And, um, no, and no, that's no fee, right? No yeah. fee, no food allowed, because it'll be in the auditorium. Mm -hmm. And that's where we'll raffle off our special prizes mm -hmm. um, the, the special museum passes that we've gotten from donations and uh, every week when the kids come into the treasure chest they're going to get one raffle ticket to put in one of the boxes that they choose and we'll raffle off the prizes at that finale event. This is a so full summer. It's full. <coughs> I'll be busy. <laughs> I don't remember it being, I don't remember when I was growing up, libraries yeah. weren't the big deal. We were instructed that you needed, especially when you hit the older grades, you had to read what, a certain amount of books. This is totally different, but you had to read a certain amount by the time you came in. Mm -hmm. What were they in the whole? Like well, you'll hear different people, teachers, librarians, talking about the summer slide. You yeah. don't want students sliding backwards after they leave school mm -hmm. for the summer. You want them to keep growing and be ready to, to, to begin right in September when school starts again. Right. So they don't, teachers don't have to review too long into the school year. They want to start you know, right away and keep the kids learning. So we like to be a part of that and just keep them reading. With all this Loving to read. computer stuff and a high tech stuff, mm -hmm. to see them with a book, you know, I mean, yeah. that's, that's a blessing right there. Yeah. yeah. Well, we encourage any kinds of reading, whether it's digital reading, traditional hardcover book reading, mm -hmm. um, anything we can provide to the kids. So, so it's okay if they read the book online? Sure. Oh, sure. There you go. We can, help, we can help kids learn how to do, do that. that. We have sure. digital books available through our catalogs. Sure. Now, here we go. What else? Mm -hmm. uh, let me see. Children's okay, collections. Oh, we talked about. We this. talked about that yeah, one. We talked about baby all story time. Yep. <coughs> uh, Lego club. That is something we we switched to moving it into our gathering room. We needed a little more space for the kids to move around and build, so it's held in the gathering room every week on Thursday afternoons yeah. at three thirty, and the kids just enjoy coming to build, make new friends, um, display their creations, and and just have some social time, some downtime from, from academics. We talked about the gathering room artwork. Yes. And Teen Tuesdays. Yes. Okay. Uh, now the staff, so people want to get, people come down, they yeah. see all these kind faces. We have you, mm -hmm. and we have Regina. Regina, yeah. And we, of course, we have Matt. The and director. we have two Sues. Two Sues, yeah. And the new girl. Marissa. Marissa. Is yeah. that if I got everybody? You do. There are six of us in all, and we just, it, it's a great staff. That's why I wanted to mention it. Everyone's really helpful. Oh. Whether it's helpful for to help me implement the programs we're running or just helping patrons coming in every day. We just all love what we do. Okay, we're talking with Leanne Murphy, <coughs> and she is the children's librarian here in Upton Town Library. If you're watching from out of town, out of state, out of the country, when <laughs> this is, goes worldwide, we have a pretty special program here. What's your favorite of all these ones coming up? Right now, I think I'm enjoying the Teen Tuesday programs that I've been running. Uh, we, the, the group of kids that come, they're just 
they're full of ideas, they're energetic, they're willing to be there, they want to participate, and I could really see this program growing with this group that's How many that's are we Right now, we have about six. That's pretty good for this we dating. We have six. Yeah. Um, they're that's all good. girls that come. We'd love to see some, some boys join us, yeah. um, but we do some fantastic things. Actually, if you check out our website, uh, OpsonLibrary.org, Opton mm -hmm. there's a link on it, and there's a small YouTube um, screen on there as well. The kids that are in the, the Teen Tuesday group, we worked on a theme, I think it was in March? No, it was April. It was all about libraries, library appreciation. And the kids helped come up with some public service announcements. And we, oh. we made a video. It's about a three-minute video yeah. posted on YouTube. And it just gives you a, a virtual tour of the library, showing people what we have, you know, what we offer. How do we get this done? <laughs> <laughs> this is great. What, go to it's on our library website, uptonlibrary.org. Upton 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 okay, and right. you go on that. Do you right on our homepage. Right on the homepage, mm -hmm. and then you would hit video. There are two ways. There's a little square yeah. that gives you directly to the YouTube link right there on the screen, yeah. or there's a line at the top of the uh, page that says, That's check great. out our Upton Library tour. I have never seen that. I mean, there's lots of libraries yeah. I've never seen any of them that I know of that give a virtual tour so that when you walk in, yeah. you know where you're going. Well, we, want, we wanted the kids involved. Yeah. Um, really sharing what they know about the library, what they love about the library. We actually had a resident from Upton come in and work with the kids on creating the script and videotaping um, to someone who was a former drama teacher so she gave them some direction along the way and the kids were involved 100 percent behind or in front of the camera so it was a lot of fun. Leanne, how did you get into library work? Uh, gosh, well a former teacher, yeah. I'm a former teacher so and I just I did a lot of reading with my students, yeah. a lot of reading instruction and it's just something I, I loved, I've always loved. What, ye what year grades were you teaching? I taught kids preschool through grade five. So oh, a little of everything. That's a cool time. Yeah. That really is. And I, I don't think I ever realized how much I liked the middle school age until I started working with these teens, this yeah. Teen Tuesday group. They've been yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, and how long has that been going on? We started, <coughs> I think, in October, hmm. about a month after I started. Okay. So every month we have a different theme. Yeah. I plan some activities for the kids, but hopefully as the program grows, they're going to do more of the planning. There is a ton of stuff. Where's your yeah. calendar again? I'm going to sure. There is a ton of stuff coming up this yeah. summer. Libraries rock. Okay, this is libraries the theme. Rock. Okay, now yeah. is this throughout CW Mars? Every library in the state has the same theme. Libraries rock. All right. Um, but then it's it's up to each library how how that library wants to implement the program. What kind of activities, performances, um, anything? It's up to them. So this is what what I've come up with based on how our previous librarians have done it. I've kept some of the things that they found success with and given my own twist on a few new things. So hopefully everyone will be happy with it. Boy, I'm telling you, you're, you're a parent <laughs> out there and you're looking for things to do. This is chock full. Mm -hmm. We start in, okay, June 12th, oh. sign up, right? June, yes. June, June 12th. Can they call you June to sign up or can they have to come in? June 12th, we like kids to come in okay. because that's when they'll get their bags, their materials. Okay. They can visit the treasure chest for the first time, get their first mm -hmm. raffle ticket. Yeah. And uh, we, it, I mean, one of the main goals is get get people into the library. So yeah. I know some libraries like to do their registrations online. Yeah. We like it we like to do do things a little old you school. Like it face to face. We do, we do. So we like the kids to come in, get them started for their summers and um, go from there. You know, if you're new to Upton or to the area, you know, you could be at any place Upton is a very, very friendly library. It's not mm -hmm. this it's, I don't know how to explain it, but it's very ho homey cozy and boy they will help you too. If you have a question also, the children's, we have Leanne Murphy Thank here, you. and you know, really, they'll order books for you. I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I order tons of them. And, mm -hmm. um, and that's a free service. Yeah. It's, it doesn't cost anything to order from another library. That's the benefit of our network. Yep, within the CW so. bars. Now, okay, so the June events, we start with registration on the 12th. You're ending with make your own rain stick on the 30th. That's June. That's a lot of, then in July, Teen Tuesday begins at the 3rd. Then a lot of different different age groups, right to the 31st annual, the sleepover with the stuffed animals. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then on August, starts with the second preschool story time all the way down to the baby story time on the 31st. The summer reading finale will be August 22nd at 10 a.m. over at Nipmuc, outdoors in the back, right? That'll be in the auditorium, okay. indoors. We're gonna show the movie on a, on a screen, a projector screen in the auditorium. Yeah. So that way, if it's really super hot in August, yeah. hopefully we'll be a little cooler indoors. 
Yeah, but they uh, just had the recent, um, they weren't ready, I don't think, they didn't have the IAC on, we had the town meeting over there. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Some of us were sitting there like, oh, yeah. who would dream would be that? But we'll really, be nice and quiet watching the movie, so no, no did hot you, air. Did you design this, or did they? Um, I, little myself, little from what previous librarians have done. They prov yeah. The state provides us all the clip art through for what we need to create our own flyers, so... Um, previous librarians have done things similar with their calendars. It oh, works. I know, um, the bad science. Now, June 27th. Uh, uh, school yeah. is out, right? School is out by then. Yes. Yeah. We waited as long as we could to kind of come up with our final calendar. We yeah. had to wait. We had quite a few snow days with mm -hmm. the school calendar in the district here. And we begin our official programs as far as babysitting yeah. and science programs, things like that that have performances those start after the kids do get out of school. Because I know of a little guy in my family who is yeah. like a mad professor at five years old. <laughs> he looks like he's got these big glasses. Yeah, that might be a perfect event he for him. Like, he might like that. Yeah. Now, are you going to post these on our wonderful bulletin boards so people can Absolutely. We'll have lots of signs uh, posted everywhere. We'll continue posting things on our website, Facebook, and Instagram accounts, uh, bulletin how, boards. How about, yeah, on the television, 192, our channel right here in town? Any way we can give advertisement. You know what? The newspaper, of course, as well. You know, uh, local town crier. I was going to say, have you got a special one that I can give to our, our producer, Glenn Fowler, and he could get this up? Do you have a, just some words you'd want to get out there? And I'll hand I, it to him. I, I can, can give you whatever you need. All right, certainly. And we'll get it up there for you. Yeah. Because um, it's great to have it on the bulletin board on that. Okay. Because people are watching that, too. What events so we've are had the problem. Yeah. It's a great time of having Leanne Murphy on. She's a children's librarian here in Upton. And uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a busy summer, but we're ready. We're excited. It's a great theme. Yeah, I wish I was under more. 12. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I mean, I wish this stuff was for... Yeah. I've told you before, where's the grown-up stuff? <laughs> I, would I can come, only do children's and young adults. <laughs> I would be filling out... I look, Sometimes yeah. at libraries, they leave them out there, the thing with the mm -hmm. lines. Like, <laughs> yeah. I keep a whole notebook. I'll, get, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a reading log. Uh, you can keep track this summer. <laughs> okay, see, listen listen to this. She gave me a reading <laughs> log. So. Leanne, thanks. And be sure, if you've got any questions, again, how can you contact... Stop in the library or call me at 508-529-6272 or my email is lmurphy at cwmars.org. Come on in and see her. You're here every day, aren't you? Pretty much. Pretty much every day. <laughs> so if any questions, get ready for June 12th. Mm -hmm. That's the, the registration day and the treasure chest is opening, kids. It's going to be a lot of fun. You get this nice juicy bag full of good stuff to start off. For free. Everything's free. Pencils, bookmarks, your calendar, your reading log. Uh, a special bingo board is in there. That's worth an extra raffle ticket if you complete that. So. Oh, so you get another raffle yeah. ticket. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. This is, ooh, here it is. My bingo board. Different bingo games. Oh, my God. Right. You can complete all nine squares, read an hour, attend a library program, visit the library. And we've got one for the older kids, too, so whichever one the kids are ready for. We're ready for them. I'm ready for it, too. <laughs> I'm like drooling. I wish they yeah. had this for us. Yeah. I don't know. I can't be the only adult out there that would have a blast with them. I guess I'm going to have to bring the little ones in my family to something before they do this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Leah. Thanks, Jen. We just had uh, Southwick Zoo on, and um, we had a baby alligator. You may remember we had a baby alligator, and uh, what was the other critter? Oh, Spaz the parrot. Oh, gosh. And I was going to come down and prank the librarians. <laughs> I was going to say, God, the, the, the gator got loose. Is he down here? Have you seen him? Mm. <laughs> I thought, no, it wouldn't be good for probably visitors because they might really freak. But Southwick's is actually one of our sponsors. <laughs> they provided some museum passes for us, so that is one of our raffle oh, our really? raffles this summer. Southwick's, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah, that was so a lot of fun. Yeah, I never know what they're going to bring to me. <laughs> ever. Ever. We'll keep them up here with you. We'll see you next time, I'll be my guest. Hi, James. Hello.